again, we'd, we'd like to thank you for coming out today, and we'd like to know if you have any questions. Well, I can only speak for myself, but I would assume that everybody agrees that pension spiking is something that has to stop. Okay? Go ahead. Yeah, I think, you know, again, speaking for myself, I support legislative efforts to stop spiking and other abusive practices that are abuses of our pension system that only benefit a tiny, tiny portion of the pensioners that receive the benefits of those practices, the kinds of things that have come to light through the scandals. And I'm hoping that Governor Brown will have an opportunity to sign a bill. Uh, Governor Schwarzenegger vetoed an anti-spiking bill that would have stopped some of those kinds of abuses. So I'm hoping we get, because that's real pension reform. I just want to say that CalSTRS already has in place practices that prevent pension spiking. Any other questions? You guys talk a lot about the myths that out-of-state billionaires and corporations are, are having Californians believe, but I mean, you've got a lot of legitimate commissions and reports in recent years, like the little Hoover Commission that says it's billions of dollars underfunded and says that you know, it's going to crumble if you don't get it. Uh, some kind of a fix. Would you guys discount the Little Hoover Commission? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to? Rent's going to. I think that the, the Little Hoover Commission, they didn't go, uh, they used certain uh, misnomers in the press about uh, what is not what is not right or it's not proven in public employee retirements I think they they scratched the service and they used a lot of what is rumor and myth out there to try and put together the report but I don't think that they actually got down into the depths of what caused all that yeah and, and if you look at the little Hoover Commission report you look at the language they used you look at how one-sided and biased it was you look at who the authors were then take a look at CalPERS response take a look at Bill Lockyer's response take a look at the responses because they made assumptions that were unreasonable they went in with their opinion already formed and some of their rhetoric and some of their statements are outrageous and uh, I put no stock in it, uh, and I think it's been used, you know, as a way to attack public employees and their pensions unfairly. It's not a balanced report, it's not a balanced view, and if you take it as such, you will be misled. Where would you like to see a balanced report come from? I mean, you said you wouldn't put any stock in it. You wouldn't put stock in the Stanford study, not the Little Cooper Commission. Again, look at Stanford's study, look at the assumptions they made, look who made them, look who paid for it. Take a look at the information coming from CalPERS, which is, you know, look at the actual, there's actual actuarial data, empirical data about what do public employees get. Look at the charts with the curve that show how many people get $100,000 pensions. It's, you know, 1% or less. And those are not typically rank and file employees. Those are political appointees, executives, and such. Uh, that's where the distortion comes up. It's not an unsustainable system, but it's unsustainable if the employers take a holiday from contributing. Uh, you know, it's unsustainable if the employers do not pay their fair share or do not enforce management principles on things like not allowing people to take their vacation and leave and having balances accrue, et cetera, et cetera. Not controlling costs, not working to really control costs of health care, et cetera. Those are the kind of things that are management responsibilities. Employees cannot do those things. We can try to work on them through collective bargaining, but again, if the employer will not come to the table, um, 
how are we going to improve government and pension systems? Can you, can you address uh, what's at the root? What do you think is at the root of the tax on? Well, again, in my opinion, there, there, there's certainly a political basis for it. There's also Wall Street would love to have their hands on $230 billion of public employees' assets. That's what pays for the pensions is the contributions and the earnings and the excellent earnings that CalPERS has been getting on those contributions. That's what pays for the retirement system. They would love to stick everybody in a 401k type defined contribution plan, which was only meant to be a supplement to a real pension system. Um, and look at what's happened to the states that have tried that. Like California even had a second tier that they had to drop because it doesn't work. It's not meant to provide retirement security. Can you talk about just the general public image, uh, you know, state workers in general, and the attacks, and you know, the perception that pensions are draining You know, I think I, I, I think people uh, look at state workers, they look at municipal workers in the in the community, and generally, I think they appreciate them. I think they look at them and, and respect them. I think when the abuses are pointed out, and we all get painted with a with a broad brush, that's where I think the negative image comes from from the public. And we're here to tell you that that's not the case. Everybody here is you know, invested in their, in their retirement system and they are committed to helping fix the problem, which is what we're standing here trying to talk about. And we're hoping to change that image by explaining the facts, which are the public employees are not lavishly uh, paid and compensated in retirement. Any other questions? Okay, seeing none, thank you again very much for coming out today.